Hey guys, Shaper 1000 here. Today, I'm going to show you how to take one of these little cassettes, one of these little videotapes, or one of these mini DVDs from a camera, an old camera like this, and import it to your computer. Stay tuned. Okay guys, in order to be able to put your footage off of one of these tapes onto your PC so you can upload it to social media such as YouTube, um, you have to capture this. Now when you know you can't, we all know you can't plug an old camera directly into your computer like you can the new camera that I like the newer style that I'm using here with a memory card you can't just you know there's no memory card in that it is on either a tape or a little mini DVD disc now sometimes the mini DVD disc you can take out and put directly in your into your uh, your CD slot your DVD slot on your PC and you may be able to import it that way but for these tapes, there's no way you can do that, right? But how it is done is you have to get a capture card, all right? Like, here's a capture card here, okay? What this does is you will plug this into your USB port on your PC, laptop, whatever. And then you have these. You've got your S-Video, and you've got for your RCA jacks you know you've got your left for your sound your right for your sound your audio and then you've got your video and what you do is you plug your your RCA jacks into these correspondingly now this is just a cheap one I have I've got a better one I use this one a few times I get this for like seven or eight bucks these things are cheap but the uh, the software that comes with it's not that great so what I did was I mean I, they work they work you, you can use any software that 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 will do a capture with this device here I mean it will work but I had bought um, one that's called dazzle all right with pinnacle studio and there it is right there let's get you zoomed in on that because I have it hooked up to the PC because I'm going to show you how to do this see I've got this now this I gave like ten dollars for this at a flea market it, had, it was still in, in the package it had never been open you can get these online you'll pay up upwards around forty to sixty dollars for these online so but it comes with a really good this is a dazzle but it comes with a really good uh, editing software called Pinnacle Studio. Alright, and you can also use it for regular videos and stuff, uh, video editing. So I'm going to show you how we're going to hook this up. Alright, if I can here. Alright, first of all, we've got, see, mon Monkey, uh, I've got these, I have to, I've got a bunch of these to go through. Um, not actually go through, but to import. So I'm on, on Monkey's account on our computer here. And uh, because her son, when he was younger, used to race in the BMX. And uh, he did very well. He's got all kinds of trophies, several trophies. Uh, he did very well. So um, she's got it all on these, on these tapes here. And she never had a way to play them or anything till. I started buying these cameras and she asked me yesterday, hey, do you have a camera that will play these tapes? Why, yes, we've got like four of them. <laughs> so she thought that was cool and she said, well, then you can put it on the computer. I said, yeah, so she wants to make him a DVD of his uh, BMX racing and stuff. So, all right, I've got this plugged in to, into uh, one of my old cameras here. All right, now this is where the battery goes and the reason why... I took the battery out of this one is because I plugged it in 
to a power source because there's going to be a, I didn't want to have to keep because uh, I've got several of these batteries I didn't want to have to keep changing batteries because I've got a lot of these to import for her so I just went ahead and plugged it plugged it in but on this one it's got this little deal here that plugs in for your audio video out okay now I'm gonna set this right here now yours may differ <clears throat> what did I do with it yours may have you know just uh, like ports in it in the back of it that'll look like these ports or on the side of it or somewhere on the front of it that you plug directly into but this one has its own cord but either way now as you've noticed you you probably noticed let me get rid of this as you probably noticed now my camera only has two and this has three it's got your left your right for your audio and the video or the S, S video now I'm not going to use the S video this has only got two it's got video and audio now if you do that you're only going to have one channel you're only one one side one speaker is going to work so what I did was I bought this this T connector or a Y okay it'll look like this it's got a female and two males so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the white into the left the red into the right now on the yellow end you're going to want to take your white which is your audio and plug it into there that way it splits it off and I will have left and right it'll be somewhat kind of like stereo not full stereo but at least you have left and right speakers both working okay you won't be able to like switch them to left and right but you will have left and right and then here's your your video part which goes in to the yellow right there and we're hooked up now we've got to capture our images from the camera which it has one of these in it onto the PC and I'm going to show you how we do that okay so down here we've got we've got all different kinds like there's one let me get my glasses on here okay there's Pin there's Pinnacle Studio right here I've already got it ready to go this one is Cyberlink uh, I forget which one Power Director okay but right now we're going to use this because it's very easy to use and okay there's one of my old ones I've done let's see get you backed up here I don't know if you can see that right here is one of my old ones I've done now up here you want to make sure you have your camera on plugged in make sure your dazzle your capture device whatever you may be using is plugged in and you're going to want to hit import okay let's turn these speakers on and you'll see this now that excuse me what you're looking at here on the screen of this and this is just going to work just like a just like an old VCR okay now what I usually do is right here you will have like your uh, S video or your video composite we're going to do the composite okay because we're using the uh, RCA cables now right here where it says dazzle video capture there's a little arrow I'm going to bring hit that little arrow and down here it's 4.3 or 16.9 I'm going to hit 16.9 that way I can go full screen there we go and it'll go full screen now we can click out of that uh, on your videos so it doesn't you know so you don't have the black bars on the side okay now I'm going to hit start capture alright now it's going to get ready to capture and then I'm going to hit play on the camera now the camera I'm going to turn all the way down so we don't get feedback and there we are I don't know why it's doing that could be the, these tapes are old there we go but both the speakers are working 
We've got left and right. Watch it, Daddy! Watch out! And that's Monkey. This was years ago. And uh, they had friends with uh, sons that raced as well. And a lot of the parents would race. Her ex-husband, which is her son's father, he used to race, so they all raced. But that's, that's all you have to do. And then when you're done, when you get to the end of the tape or whatever, you hit stop capture. Now I'll show you. Let's just say I'm done with this. Okay, I'm going to hit stop capture. I'll go ahead and stop it here on the on the uh, in the camera as well. All right. Now that should be saved over here, as you can see right there. Can you see that? Let's zoom in on that a little bit so you can see it captured it. All right. It's like that. Okay. Now there's a couple more steps you got to do but if you follow it step by step you'll be alright now this you can X out of this now okay and there you go you have this up here and here it is this is your preview window and this is what you just captured here's your timeline down here at the bottom okay so what you're going to want to do let me back out a little bit more again what you're going to want to do is you're just going to click on this drag it down here to your timeline drop it and there you go now you can edit this right here with this with this uh, editing software. This is a very good software. Um, I like it. But right now for this, um, she she don't know how to use this in editing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and save that for her. And while well, you know all of them, I'm going to save for her, and it will go into her folders and then she can edit it with movie maker she likes it it's really easy to use okay so what I'm going to do now is this right here okay that's that's our capture it is highlighted now I'm going to go up here to export all right right up right there is export all right so you got import movie disk and export so you're going to want to hit export. Click on export. And it's going to bring up some more. Uh, another menu down here. And you want to go. It's a file. So you're going to, you know, unless you want to put it to disk, whatever you want to do, cloud, or put it to another device. Right now I'm going to put it in a file so she can, so she can use it. Now you got options here. You got AVI, you got image, MP. EG1, MPEG2, and Windows Media. Okay, so you you can look when you click on it in the presets. You know, there's full screen DV. You you know, full screen M MJPEG. You know, it's got all this Nintendo Wii, medium small custom. All right, so that's what you got for that. And same way, you know, you've got image. You've got you know this video. CD compatible, but I'm just going to stay on AVI just like that. And you also have advanced options here to where you know we've already set this, and you know you can sound uh, after after it's done exporting, it'll give you an audible alarm or it'll just shut down your PC. Say okay, you're done, you want to go to sleep, it'll shut your PC down automatically. Open in Windows Explorer and. Uh, had exported file to library now I do have that one checked because I want it to go to her library so she can uh, so she can um, uh, shoot um, edit it in movie maker later so hit, hit apply alright uh, so I'm gonna go ahead down here at the bottom can you see that right there it says start export and I'm gonna start the export Okay, now I'm going to name this, uh, you know, bike races just for now. That way she'll know it'll be in her videos. Okay, it'll be under videos. Oh, these, these are my videos here, but it'll be under videos, under bike races, and AVI. Now you can change this sometimes. But since it's AVI, it's just going to stay there. Sometimes it will give you other options down here, depending on what you chose for the file type. So that's AVI. We're good. And then we're going to hit save.
Now there it is, it popped up. Now you can go ahead and play it, or you can open it and see what file it's in. So, but let's go ahead and play it and see how it did. Here it is in Media Player. And there it is. See, if you did, if I didn't do this, that wouldn't be on there. So, but it's an old tape, so you kind of got that. But you know, kind of like down here at the bottom, you can see. But. You know, some of these you can adjust the tracking on and get that out of there, but it's okay. So there it is. Let's click out of that, and it's done. So, that's how you do that. You just, um, if you follow that step by step, you'll be able to take footage from one of these. Put it on here, edit it just like you would any other any other kind of video, and put it on YouTube, Vimeo, or whatever you want, whatever you want to put it on. So there you go, guys. Just thought I'd share that with you. So I'm going to get started on this. This is going to be a while. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for watching my videos. Hope you enjoy the abandoned uh, place, the abandoned places we've been to so far. Uh, so we've we've got she's got a couple more she she had mentioned to me just didn't have time to do it yesterday so we're gonna check them out um, so all right guys there you go but that's that's how you uh, transfer your your old tapes or DVDs to you know transfer them to your PC or laptop you have to have a capture card very inexpensive like I said you can get the cheap ones but they come with cheap you know uh, editing software and there's you know you're kind of limited software editing software that's like worse than uh, movie maker but i love movie maker but i still use this the uh, other editing softwares we have for important stuff like zoom ins and stuff like that so all right guys again thanks for watching and uh shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now bye bye guys chat at you soon